In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Kalalab AI with Adobe Premiere Pro and how you can add the most advanced AI color engine and full color management into your Adobe Premiere workflow. So once you have installed Colab AI Creator and the Premiere integration, two things are going to happen. So number one, in the window menu, you're going to find here extensions and there is an extension called Colab AI and this is this window here. Okay. So what you're going to see that says this color engine is connected should be green and underneath you're going to see Colab version three or version two. That means what application is running in the background. When it's green, it means the application is running. Okay. So the next thing then you're going to see that inside your effects, there is going to be, if you just type C-L-E-N, you're going to see a plugin which is called C-L Engine. So just check that it's there. You don't have to do anything with it manually. This plugin is going to be applied. This is the actual color engine. On top of it, I recommend, especially for Mac users following, go to Lumetri Color Panel, and then there you have this new tab called Settings. And in there, do a couple of things. First, in your sequence settings, make sure that your working color space is Rec 709 and disable this auto tone map media. Don't use that. Color Lab Engine is going to do all this work for you. And if you want to match the look of this display to the one inside Color Lab, what I recommend you do is you come here to the display color and you select, you activate display color management. So that means that, you know, you're going to get same preview here inside this window as it's going to look inside the Color Lab AI. So now I go to Color Lab Creator. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say fetch from Premiere. So this is now going to bring the timeline in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and shift click on all of the clips and I'm going to go and select Ari Log C. That means that this is the camera that I'm using and now I'm color managing my timer. This is a very important step if you want our color engine to work really well. So as you can see, immediately everything looks in Rec 709 because this is the setting that I'm using here for color management. Okay, very easy. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select one look from my references and I double click on it. And now this becomes my reference look. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to then go here and I'm going to say match all. So what I want is I want all of my timeline to be nicely balanced to get the same look and to match this tonal T that I have selected in my reference. I want a very nice and soft and warm look. Now I'm using my processing of my M1, M2 laptop or your Windows NVIDIA cards. There is no uploading, downloading and look, the whole sequence got matched so quickly and everything now has this beautiful warm look, this golden hues because that's the our source. So basically, as you can tell, like everything's nicely balanced, the exposure got adjusted and everything, you know, matches the whole sequence feels as one. So the next thing I need to do is just go here and I press push to Premiere, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and apply all of this metadata as a part of my sequence. Okay, so there is no rendering, there is no relinking, nothing. Basically, automatically now what we did is we have applied all of our effects, everything onto our timeline as a Color Lab Engine plugin. And now everything is perfectly basically going to go and look onto our timeline. So this is really the easiest way for you guys how to color grade, how to get things to look really nice and fast without any rendering, any exporting in real time, fully color managed and balanced. I sincerely hope that you have found this tutorial useful and it, that it's going to help you on your journey to adopt Colorlab AI in your workflow. Sign up for the channel. There's going to be more videos and more tutorials coming weekly. And if you also want to join the conversation, there is also a link below to how to join our Discord channel. So I'm really looking forward to welcoming you to our Colorlab AI family. 
happy grading.